2020 X7. I did a version of the V8 one. It has 400 and something horsepower. This one has 300 horsepower. This one is the V6. If you get something more fuel efficient, this is the one to get. You got the LDI. You got the 60 view camera system. You got the parking sensor. These got it, these um grills will open up for more aerodynamic. The electrical. This one is the straight portable um, six. And you got your 20 inch IO wheels right here. With the Bridgestone and your wheel. The bigger brakes you get on the V8. How you know this is a V6 when you got the um, small brakes? This one is the, like a two zone setup, like how the X5 was. Now that it's avoided to the X7. And then, and then if you want to put the vehicle down, let's say you want it to turn because you're carrying stuff, you press this button, and usually the vehicle will just go down an inch if you're holding stuff in. So this is how you can sit on here. This can hold up. You can sit on there like this. So you can do all that. And then you got your public stuff under here. You got your little mat under here. Um, if you fold on these seats, these seats are also power seats. So you can fold these down. You have to hold them. You try to mix. So weird it's not folding down. Also, okay, okay, you have to wait a minute. And then for the other seats over here, look over here. These fold on the other third rows of seats, and you see how they move the, um, the front row moving. You move down very slow. See, and then you don't have to do it that way, you can do it. Yeah, if you say maximum cardio or this cardio, okay. So that one is for the front, yeah. Like if you want to put something right here, then it's gonna come back up if you want to sit down. So that make it much better. I like how BMW does that. This is to put up all the seats, maximum seats, and this is to put down all the seats. So we can't show you that again. She's all fixed itself and it's all power though. It's really all power. And then you can yacht the vehicle and close the vehicle. And you got your X all wheel drive right here for any weather. You got your parking sensor, you got your blue zone. You got your Pemex sunroof over here. You got your primary sunroof, you got your two sunroof. Then let's show you how much it does it cost. Cost 81000 I'm gonna go back here to the music car, so this is the inside. This is why you buy a family vehicle for, and it's very quiet in here too. So you got your, you can show your sunshade. You can put up your sunshade and stuff like that. Your window. But usually sometimes you can yak it off, so it must be yak off from the front of the car. So you got your heated seats right here. You got your do zone climate control. You can press to turn them on. This stuff right there. You can get an entertainment package if you want screams right here. Usually they will put it in here. You can get a like accessory at the BMW entertainment package for the, uh, the kids. You got your big Pembroke sunroof, two sun. Well, this one opens. This one doesn't open. Um, I kind of call in the back, so I'll show you how the back is. Yeah. You, yeah. So you press this button, and usually the seat will move up, and then you just move the seat. And it's all this like this electric moving. You just move this forward. 
and then how nice how it folds up yeah, I can have the baby seat inside so I could go back here some years ago this is how over here you got your dual zone climate control you got your your yikes right here you can open your sunshade from over here it's not even opening so it doesn't need to be peavy eyed so you can open this right here and then you got your tail hookers for your car seats you got your ambit yiden um this is to put your um tray in like this is for your yike tunnel so privacy tunnel you put it right here um and then you got your cup holders you got your wood and your ambit yike it's really nice soft and touch back here you got your vents back here you got your speaker that your airbag and you don't need a window to see out so that's that's pretty nice and it's really comfortable you got the seats back here too so onto the front of the car this i have the key to this one so you can actually yak and yak this one and then you can open it like this to that end and then it has like a mold start and everything through the key fog and you can roll on the windows so this is the interior this is like a gorgeous interior. This is what you like. You paying so much money for this interior. The door sounds really solid. I like how the door sound. It does it. This one, yeah, this one has like the soft touch closing feature. On here, you got your power folder mirrors. You got your shrunk opener. This one is for the seat, the rear seats. And then you got your memory seats. Um this is to t this is like for the rear seats so that's how you move them up and then you move them back uh, you can control everything from the front of the car so that's pretty nice <laughs> and it shows it right here you you can do all that stuff and then this car doesn't have the option of any of the seats. You can deck that like an option. The one I did test drive, test drive had it. So this is do zone. You can show your own temperature, your own spot speed. You can show where it is. This one has, this one has like the temperature in the front, the sides, then the rear of the car on the side. So everybody can have their own temperature set in this car, and it's very nice. Um, down here you got your buttons over here your sport mode you got your traction control off you got your your um parking sensors and you got your 60 view camera system this is hd camera and it has like the camera turns see how the camera turns and it just turns where you're gonna go with the car so that's pretty nice you can access that and then over here you got your mode system right here if you want to yiff up the car or you want to the car will be yiffing up and I can feel it a little bit is yiffing up so you can yiff up the car if you kind of yeah I say you kind of go on gravel road and stuff like that and you got a down sis mode so I gotta show you more about this entertainment system right here you got your backing feature that your parking sensors um, I don't see anything different about this entertainment system out of BMWs except this one seems like higher resolution, more features. And then if you don't want to touch it, you can touch right down here. Your maps, put in your destination. You can type it, say, C. C. B. So you can type in C. Okay. Yeah, I see CBC. You can type in that, and it pulls up a little destination. Then, if you don't want to touch all that, you can just type in here what you want to touch. Then you can just erase it like that. So that's that's pretty neat. I got that feature. You see how this is stereo system sound? This one has the Harman Kardon system, and then you can do it like this. So you can do it like that. I see that trickle down to a Yada BMWs. 
so you can pause it and you can swipe when the phone is going so let's go to menus then you can scroll down always like touching it then these are your either options to see which power is the car going to this have x drive so it shows you the power of the car um this shows you your meter so it shows you your boost and your power meter shows you your oil temperature stuff like that and shows you your arm stream meter I don't know why you're gonna need all this in a family car like this but if you want it it's here and it shows you your gas mileage I think I kinda wanna see that sport mode you can't get the worst in sport mode so it don't make no sense to drive and then it shows you your tires shows you your oil life and stuff like that um it's, it's a yada customization in here your fan speed you can set up then the stuff like that and then you can look up food prices too so that's pretty that's pretty neat though. I like this entertainment. I showed it in a yada of the BMWs. And I promise our video is coming soon. How to work all these stuff in here. Because it's a yacht crap ton of stuff in here. Your phone book. You have to set up your phone. This is for your driver assistance stuff. So if you want to turn all them off. Blind spot monitoring. Yang keep assist. Traffic jam system. Adaptive cruise control and it has pre collision system and Yang keep assist too. It will keep you near Yang too. It has all that. Um, so it has all those other nice little features. This is like what Audi has like digital cockpit. Um, you have little stuff over here you can show when your GPS on. You have your powder shift, powder control right here. You have your automatic high beams. You have your you can show your different meters like that right here you want to show all these little information you can press it from over here you can show your see how it goes up and then you have your head up display over there though it doesn't you cut this on the camera is much bigger shows you your speed you're supposed to be going 30 then it shows you the speed the car is going so I mean and it's nice and soft touch with stitching I love the other in here it feels very nice and it smells good too then you got your yacht control over here too and over here you got your cup holders you got your wire charger you can put your phone over there this one doesn't come with the cool cup holders and the heated cup holders that's the option then you got your charge port right there but why you want to use this you can use the wire charger so you got your little charge for it. And this one has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And over here, you got your your lights over here to see down in here. Then you got your USB port. Um, you got your sunroof. So you can open up your sunroof. Um, and I can open up because it might wet up but this is how big is the sunroof then it has another sunroof in the back i will keep all this open because it makes the interior nice and bright and then then you can close it back too that's for you like, the rear kids is over here so you can destroy a yacht too this is your vanity mirror let's see does it pass the visor this oh it does it passed the virus test, so you can do it that way if y'all wondering. So, um, this one has a heated steering wheel. It's, this one is a power tilting and telescoping, so you can do it either way. So you know what I mean, this is this is pretty nice. And then you got your buttons for your radio over here. You got your station over here too. And this one has the Harman Kardon sound system in there too. So if y'all want that upgrade, you can get Ben and Audience system. Then you got heated mirrors on both sides of the vehicle. 
and you got um yeah um bright spot monitor then. but out of them in mirror but not on that side though i don't know why they only put it on one side and that's i don't know what's wrong with bmw but i got this stitching right here it has a nice little stitching you know what i mean um so and you got your out of them in mirror with your home yank system right here this is out of them in i got the frame miss mirror too it looks much neater you see the light blinking is for your garage door opener. And that your lights right here. And then if you want to turn on all the lights. I think I would just keep this on just to keep this on. And then it turns on all the lights in the car too. So, and then you, my passioner right here can turn on his light. And then, <laughs> and then um, you got your USS button right here if we need help. If it's an emergency, if I'm in an accident and I can't get up, I just press this. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go inside the vehicle and show you more stuff. We actually can't turn it off. This is how you actually turn it on. And over here, there you the cubby right here to store your junk and stuff. <laughs> and then you got your part right here soft touch that's pretty neat then you got your cup holder so I can't yacht the vehicle and then when you yacht the vehicle and you hold it down the mirror is folding I got a BMW so you can't do that and then the rear has it too so you can open it from all door handles and yacht it too and then the weirdest thing you can hold it down too and then over here, that's the same function too. You can come up to it. And it does open up the car. But you can yacht the car too from not pressing the door. Like you say, this is in your pocket, the key. You can press this. And when it closes down, it just yachts the car. You know what I mean? So, if you guys look at something to save you more on gas, and you only want to spend seventy thousand dollars oh oh to the v8 you might have that this one because it's if you because i show you guys the v8 version but i never show you guys the v6 so i like this version i think this is a more affordable version and it's more save on gas but if it was my money i would at the v6 though maybe the v6 or the v8 the V8, I think it'd be more, but the V8, I just dropped the V8 and it can keep up for the pace, you know what I mean? So, subscribe and a like, and I keep coming back with more channels. Bye, y'all. CBCO.